Cyberbites. Um, trademark. Copyright. Cyberbites. Um, so I did say something about John Wick 5. And you might be asking, John Wick 5, we're not even at 4 yet. Well, that's because they're pretty much filming it alongside with John Wick 4. Like, they're they're like, yeah, we know there's going to be more. You, we know you want more, so we're just going to go ahead and take the initiative to do this. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, if John Wick 4 sucks, well, at least we can hope that John Wick 5 will be good. Uh, what do you guys think about that? But talk on the top of Keanu... There's there's some interesting stuff that was just released about the Matrix story, the plot, the meaning behind it. Yeah. The meaning. And uh, the news has actually made waves and shocked everyone <laughs> all over the internet. So apparently, the creators of the Matrix story mm-hmm. came out and said it was basically a trans metaphor now i think with this too because i just saw this story um and uh lily wachowski just had just come out as a trans herself with her sister lana Mm -hmm. um that was after the films had came out so i feel like you know from her perspective saying like you know maybe some of this stuff was subconscious in her writing right um on some of the metaphors that were in the movie that you know kind of meant some of the things that she maybe wanted to express but didn't know Hmm. how to properly express them right um so i think you know and it's always it's always you know i think right now too like for people to automatically assume like oh well maybe it's a Maybe it's a marketing thing right now. Maybe it's like, oh, we want to say that because it's it's current to be woke. But I think in this situation, it's a little bit different because she's she's a trans woman. So like, I feel like right. in that scenario, it's a little bit different. Um, True. Just to kind of take that, take it on board. I'm not saying that that wasn't maybe something that she thought about afterwards and try to connect dots. Um, could that be a possibility? Sure. Um, but I think also there's a little bit of weight there than just like the headline because of the fact that she is also trans. So it's, I well, think she it's a little said, bit. Yeah, she said herself that it was a closet transformation. Um, right. A, like it was a closet perspective mm-hmm. of transformation. So basically, right. the, the obviously we know it's about transformation, right? We know right, the story right. is about transformation. So facts. So, yeah, it was just their way, like I said, their closet way of telling, you know, the world to accept mm-hmm. the transformation, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, and right. type shit. So, um, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure they had it. I, th- I think they personally, I think they had it in mind before they wrote the story mm. and kind of just translated it in that way, because that's how that was at the time, you know, a trans wasn't a thing like as big you know what i'm saying like as big of a deal like yeah, it, it wasn't was, as accepted it was very closeted so mm-hmm. for them i'm actually was... interested in watching it now under a different light correct i'm probably gonna watch it in the next week the doctor Ooh, disrespects doctor. he finally had his actual stream yesterday mm-hmm. peaking around five hundred thousand concurrent Jeez. viewers on youtube Jeez. insane too early and uh, he claims that he still has no idea why he got banned on Twitch. Still doesn't know. No um, idea. So he openly said that, but he said he also has to just let his lawyers and their lawyers and the legal people work it out because there is a lot of money involved, and that's all he really said. Okay. So no reason to believe that he he's lying to me at this point. Mm. But uh, people will always speculate. Right. That's just what it is. But he had a great stream. Um, He came back and it was just as entertaining as always. I mean, the doctor is not for everyone, right? Like his type of content is definitely a specific type of content. He falls Mm -hmm. into a certain subgenre. Right. But it's still entertaining. And the the level at which he performs at is higher than most. 
yeah i mean that's interesting i i hope that uh i hope that he does well over on youtube uh and i hope whatever had transpired over on twitch doesn't doesn't haunt him at other places like right, hopefully right. it's nothing to the point where it's like oh that's gonna ruin your future completely whatever that is. <laughs> right you know what I'm saying? Because we nobody nobody knows at the moment, so it's like we don't yeah, know. What nobody the fuck knows is except going for on. him and Twitch. Him, Twitch, and his lawyers. And his I lawyers. Like, yeah, I feel like they know. It. I feel like they all know what the fuck is going on. But I feel like it. You know, it's just one of those things where if it was that bad for them to for them just just drop him, or it could be on some on some other just f shit. So it's like, but nah. Twitch is making themselves look like the bad guy here, though. Even I mean, if they aren't, yeah, right. But they're right. making themselves look like the bad guy by not telling anyone why he got banned, right? So I'm just like, oof. At least oh, say man. something like, at least just tell people like, look, it's a private matter. We can't, we can't speak on it and keep it pushing. Like, just not say nothing at all. It's like, I mean, I think too though. To be fair, not not to be fair, but just to be objective, I feel also that they know that in a couple of weeks, someone's gonna give a fuck. Like nobody's gonna care. Like nobody's gonna be like, oh, remember that? Remember we're mad at Twitch for ruining Doctor Disrespect? Like nobody's yeah. caring. Yeah. Nobody gives a fuck. Like That's so true. I feel like ultimately, like a week from now, like people are all up in arms two weeks ago about fucking entanglements. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nobody gives a fuck about that anymore. Uh, last but not least, uh, before we wrap up the cyber bites, Fall Guys. I'm pretty sure you guys here all know what Fall Guys is by now. It's too Poor popular for its own good. Guys. Broke its own servers. It was not prepared for its popularity. And people have wow. been all upset that their servers are all messed up right now. Mm. Wow. But hey, it could be the the Fortnite successor. The new the new wave. Is it that popping? It's that popping. It's huh? popular, yeah. man. It's very popular. It's, it's ridiculously popular. popular. And it and it blew up like insanely fast. In a week, people were like, people were literally go into your streams in your chat and be like, play Fall Guys, just the way they used to say about Fortnite. Yeah, trust oh, yeah. me. And so That's every how... streamer is switching over to playing Fall Guys. Yeah. So it's perpetuating the popularity. Yeah. Ooh. It's insane. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Cyber Hive. We are host Toshi, Vasilis, and Adonis. And this is your geek culture destination. If you guys are into gaming, anime, tech, sci fi, you know, Geek shit, you found the right channel. And we will be live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, 5 p.m. Pacific time. So if you want to tune in for some geek culture shit, this is the place to be. So tune in, boy, to the cyber hype. Yeah.